Well, hello everyone. Maker Matt here, and today uh, I'm going to continue on with the white My Father guitar. There we go, and maybe you can see. Yeah, I'm on my little little bandsaw here, and I have already cut this little notch out right here. Get a good view of that. Kind of cool. It's got a sticker on the inside of the lid too. Um, what I did here, unfortunately, I didn't get the camera set up. Uh, left it, and what I did was just came in here and zoomed this around. I mean, it would have been really difficult to get a shot of this anyway. And just cut it right through here. And cut it back on the other side. So this piece now fits this, this is the uh, guts of the guitar body. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I have measured all of the thicknesses where this piece here fits uh, upside down in the lid of the guitar. And I'm going to come over here and you can see the marks that I've transferred um, to the body. So I'm going to get right to that. Now I have to put you down for a second and move the saw around. Okay, I'm back. We're set up again. And I'm just going to reach over and grab my little razor back saw. This is actually my prep saw. Now let's see if we can get a good close-up of this. If I'm in luck, this might actually Stay focused. exactly where I want that. So now what I need to do is I'm going to take my chisel and just push a line in right across here where I'm going to break that off. All right. Let's see. Special effects folk, folks. So that broke pretty cleanly, and let's see how good my fit is. A little on the snug side, which is exactly what I wanted, so now I will come back here.
Alright, and that is a good tight fit. Still actually a little too tighter than I want because this piece is actually going to hinge down um, from the top and need to slide in there. So that will need to be adjusted a little bit, but for now, let's see. There's the fit that I was looking for right there. That is just just great. And a little bit of black ink you see there is what I will need to be uh, removing here shortly. All right, I just finished hand shaping this very 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 minute amount that I needed to remove and I'm going to go back to this piece now and we'll see if I can slice a little more on it. A little closer to what I've been looking for. And see, I need to remove that little bit right there. There, that's just about what I need. All right, next step, folks, is the glue in this on the inside. But uh, before I do that, I need to mount the uh, Pizio pickup right here and I need to take I need to remove that so I'm gonna go ahead and saw that right here's next This piece is by no means any kind of a critical dimension. Uh, it's just got a couple of wires that need to come out of that for the uh, uh, Pizio pickup. The uh, Pizio pickup that I'm going to use um, already disconnected the one wire that I won't be using, won't be needing, just the red and the black one here. I'm going to uh, trim the little uh, connector that's uh, right there and this is now 
I'm going to get mounted right there. To do so, I am going to need to remove uh, this little bit of silicone that's on here. Again, I'll be scraping that off with the chisel and then I'm going to grab the hot glue and uh, stick that down and then it's going to get a number of multiple layers of um, uh, paper towel and wood glue. What I've done is actually used some uh, jeweler's glue because it will stick to pretty much anything and it um, isn't nearly as thick. It's very much more viscous. You can see I just put it on with a Q-tip, rubbed it around on the back of the uh, PZO pickup and took that and turned it over and stuck it down and uh, moved it around to get a nice even coat. So I've got good even contact. So this needs to set up for a while and then I will be back. Back with the My Father guitar. And what we're going to do today is there's the Pizio. I'm going to embed the Pizio in wood glue. So let's zoom in here. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Not a difficult process by any means, but it is important. I've found that embedding the piezo like this uh, will mellow out the tone quite a bit, get rid of some of the extremely high frequency piezos or notoriously shrill. So I'm found, uh, rather by accident, that um, instead of uh, just covering them up with a um, can or a bottle cap or something like that, uh, just uh, some glue. I have in the past also just used hot glue and found that um, just some wood glue and multiple layers of nothing more than paper towel will make a real nice composite Just like this. do need to saturate this and it's going to get at least two more maybe three more layers and that's going to set overnight thank you much oh next time um, we'll be Working on the neck again. Have a great evening.